two, one. We inside? We there? We live. We live? We live. We live. Carnival Slayers, we're ready. Mr. Lyman? We are ready. Mr. Chef, I am Chef Defoe, Hassan Defoe. And today, thankful for Carnival Slayers inviting me to come out and give you guys a little taste of Trinidad and Tobago. So I hope you have the ingredients ready. We're gonna start this, but we need we I'm gonna little something. something, yeah. something to yes. Us. So some rum. So this rum. Oh, so this rum is it's my rum actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's a blend of three different rums. Uh, um, sorry, three different styles of making rum. So it's five different distilleries: um, Jamaica, Barbados, Guadeloupe, and Trinidad. Full curry, we have not seen this. So it's very few ways, yeah. Something for me to start. It's Carnival Sunday mm -hmm. after all, you know? That's pretty damn good. If I can't myself. Boom, cheers. So, bacon yeah. shark. Oh, you know when you're going on that journey for that bacon shark, you know you're going up to Maracas and, you know, everybody reaches the lookout, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, But when you reach there, when you stop? Ah, uh, ciao. Uh, so yes, sir. I think it would be a good idea before we come. We have the shark, we have the baits and stuff to go, but I think it's a good idea we we get a little chow, you know? Um, in some islands, what they call it sauce, mango in sauce, mango in sauce. What do they call it in the island you're from? Let me know, tell me. So, um. Yeah, uh, mango nice. It's it perfect. Yeah. It's proper for chow, you know? Yes, so, yes. in this chow, I'm using a bit of mango. If you want to help me, just slice up this. This pineapple. And with chow, you, it's it's that kind of, it helps when you're drinking, it helps when you're liming, just to bring a little vibe, you know? So we have a pineapple in here. We're gonna put some mangoes, and I'm doing a little twist with this. Gonna add a bit of orange, some satsuma, some grapes, so it's a nice fruity. It's actually quite healthy, it's like a fruit salad, right? With a little spice, yes, to make it extra nice. nice. <laughs> That's what we like here. See, you slice that and get it for me. And some more mangoes. And it's very simple, you know, everybody be like, oh, how to do chow, you know? It's basically any fruit that's, you know, at the acid level, and then you're adding uh, the scotch on it, the bad boys here, and you add the black pepper, yes, the salt, and this. The key ingredient. The key, yes. This is from, this is the shadow belly. You understand? Nice, long shadow belly. In the UK, sometimes it's difficult to get that, so you can also use coriander, which is has a similar uh, flavor properties and works really well. So, But you can get away, you can, you can find it in the UK, right? And you get online. Yeah, there are, there are, if you know one of our sponsors today, my Trini Shop, if you have any problems finding those key ingredients that you would need, you can always check them out. They actually do the shadow belly too. So we have the mangoes in there. What's your favorite one, I like it spicy, yeah. so it's by fire. We're going to get some garlic in there. Be mindful of getting quite spicy, so use it like it as well. Fresh garlic. Beautiful. That smells incredible. That pepper sauce smelling. Yeah. Put me a lime. I like some lime juice in it. This will add to that citrus and bring it out a bit more. So you see what, what's going on in here. We have the garlic. And we roll the lime, right? So we can soften it a bit. Easy. Some of that coriander. And I have to just straighten this. So if you're home, if you have apples, if you have your mango, you have a little pineapple at the side, this is something you can do just to add a little vibe to your, you know, your gathering, just chilling out. You want to bring that memory at home, you know? So you get that shot of any in there. It's gonna be black pepper. One salivation. I see what's going on the sauce. You see what's going on in here? I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys are seeing out there, but this thing is just a little fine that you get some of the more that juice in there. And then it's just somewhat simply mixing it. Mm 
And that's it, right? Nothing else. Yeah, but I, I just, you know, this, I'm, I'm a chef. Yeah, no, I like it. 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 So, you know, we, you know, we added some, some grapes, you know. So this actually will help with the pepper. I might be getting to this. Balance it with the sweetness, you know. So we have some grapes in there. And, you know, it's a nice little taste. Oh, yeah, this is by the local to me. We nearly reach mark. This is nearly big and short time. We get in there slowly. What do you want for? I like to enter. Basically, it's so fresh. Nice, easy, simple. You understand? So, we have the chow. And but I think that actually, you get it. It's like a fruit salad with some chilies and some garlic and, and everything. That's quite nice. and. I mean, pineapple is just incredible. Mango. Mm. It's a twelve. So yeah. Perfect. We good to go with that. That's for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in my table. Right? We'll so, share, we'll share. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we're gonna move on to the main cooking part of it. You know. So everyone loves that. Big, which is um in, in different Caribbean islands, it's floats, uh, right? It's, it's called floats. It's called fried dumpling. It, it, you know, it's there's different types of this fried dough that we eat from straight from Jamaica. This up straight down to Trinidad. Yes, but it's all about that fried dough. Some people fill it with different fillings, or you, you know, some people just like it on its own. Me, I like a fresh meat with a nice piece of cheese in it when it's melted, and you know, just to give that nice. I remember having it back home when I grew up with tomatoes, with roasted tomatoes, uh, yeah. and then I got like a chili. That was just bad. That was <laughs> it. Yeah. Just to be clear, wonderful. So, big and sharp. Obviously, you know, when you get into that, right? That, that, that is like Maracas kind of food. Mm -hmm. so that, that is when the beach is sit down there. So, what? Where did it, you know where the came from? I mean, of course, just a special kind of thing. But I think we. In Trinidad, I like to be the best at stuff. <laughs> we created the best fish sandwich in Maracas. I, 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 I am running with that. I'm running with that. We have the best fish sandwich. So, I'm sorry to ask you about the island. They have a fried fish sandwich. No, they have. That's good too. That's good too. All good. This is. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, but for me, it, it's that nice, crispy bake, and then, you know, oh. the, the shark with. The green seasoning. So the green seasoning today is from one of our sponsors of the show, yeah. Sassu Seafood. Um, they deal with you know drain, sea moss, sorrel, and I'm going to be seasoning. using some of this green seasoning to season up the shark. Now, green season actually, it's 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 one of these things you get in all the islands, uh, um, right. but it was it, it's just a basis for all dishes, right? Yeah. I mean, I I can use them in every single thing, Definitely. every every everything. So. You definitely want to try this. You're going to get this. If you like hybrid together, I highly recommend it. I'm going to spread it. Well, that is for the food. Fresh, yes. fresh oh. With one of the things I discovered while traveling through the Caribbean, it's with each island, there's a different blend to their seasoning. So you go to Trinidad, you see there's more coriander or the, you know, the shadow, Benny. shadow Benny, that kind of Asian flavors mm -hmm. where you. You see, so, um, in Barbados, there's more marjoram and thyme and stuff. Right. So it's it's a, it's it affects the taste of, of the food and it gives the identity. Mm. One of the other things is um, you know, the fermented peppers yes. that we have in um, I think they actually use oh, it. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like this pepper, it's in different islands. It's called it's seasoning peppers, but it's one of the main things that gives that island its its unique flavor and identity. So here, I have a shark meat. Let me get some butter. Oh, you did you ginger this one? I like a little ginger. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. So good. We're going to get my gloves on. So the, normally with the meat and the shark and stuff, your fish, you would want it marinated a little longer. Yeah. But today, I'm going to run through the process and show you guys exactly but, how it's done. Oh, so much fish, right? I mean, it's so tender, it actually absorbs the seasoning quite quickly. Correct. So it doesn't matter. Like, uh, ten minutes actually would actually do the job too. But if some some people and in the Caribbean we have a tendency to over season our food sometimes. So <laughs> no. Sometimes you <laughs> sometimes you taste in fish and it tastes in like like all the seasonings that you've added, you know, so you you're not really getting absolutely so you you've lost that flavor. 
whatever. So this fish it has been washed already. So um, what does washing mean? So what, um, after we took it off, the, you know, skinned it and stuff, it's in some water with a half a line and washing out that, that extra bit of freshness and right. stuff. You know? So it has a more sort of, you know, fresh, like, a, a sort of a pleasant, more, less fishy smell. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, good, good, good. So we're going to get that pieces in there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I'm going to add, and this is something you can do too, just to take off that extra bit. So we're going to add some of the zest. So you get, you know, just a, so we add in the juice and then a little bit of the zest. I quite like that actually. So rather than the, rather than the juice itself, or you add it both. both. Oh, okay. So yeah. then this now will add that extra citrus flavor yes, yes, to yes. it, you know. So this, these are the tricks I've given you. I'm learning, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, I would not just wash it with a knife. No. So actually, to, to know that the zest is actually that's really good. Just adding a, 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 a and level of, uh, if you do have lime, can you use lemon? Definitely, you okay. can use lemon, but with stuff from, you know, with Caribbean food, fresh is yeah. best. And these, you know, things like the lime, the citrus, it gives a real identity to the dish, you know? But of course, you know, most people in the Caribbean have a lime tree in the back of their house, right? I'm pretty sure. I know I have a lime tree now. So if you're, looking, if you're from the Caribbean watching, uh, if you're a lime tree, then you're, 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 you're on point already. So everyone, we have the rest of the ingredients there, so we're going to get in the garlic. So I'm, just, I'm going straight in. Yeah. Mm. So much flavor, doesn't it? It's Fresh is best. One, 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 it's just one, right? Yeah, one or two. Yeah. It, 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 it depends, I guess, with, with seasoning and stuff, it's how you, you know, thing. personal flavor. You like a little more garlic in yours, you want, you know, add it. It's, you know, it's, it's your creation because I'm just giving you the guidance and the idea with this is for you to, you know, add your little zest. Put your twist on it. Add your little zest. Yes, it's zest. zest. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that in there, you know. We're going to get this green seasoning. So again, with the blend, in this blend, I have uh, there's coriander, there's um, um, garlic, ginger, there's a bit of vinegar to help keep it. Mm -hmm. And you can see we have that in here. See the there on the screen? You guys watching it? Next into that, we're going to get some of this black pepper. And so what's salt? You put the salt Yeah, so yeah. salt. And you see, I'm not adding any of those powdered seasonings and stuff. Because what we want to get here is that, that taste of the shark, but with the green seasoning mm. being that main, you know, yeah, yeah. main element of taste that's coming to that's coming to. You know, I have great fun memory of this dish, right? So like, it's like literally that, that like you say, that maracas dish you go. Yeah. I don't think you get any of that, right? I mean, maybe some places, but it's, it's a maracas dish. You don't feel, it doesn't feel like the real deal. Yeah, yeah. If you're not having you it. need to have sand on it. Let's put it that way. So, I saw for a moment, everybody, which part is stop? Close your eyes, you know, feel that sea breeze blowing, you know. Yes, forget it for the day. You're walking with the slippers, yeah. you know, that sand going to your toes. Yeah. And for a moment, we are in Maracas, you understand? Because later, we're going to jump up a Juve. So, we need That's something right. in exactly. our system. So, yes. Guys, we have all the ingredients in, and this very simple. But the roots of the Sansusi green seasoning is in there, you understand? We have that lovely shadow belly flavors. And now this can actually rest aside as we move on to getting the dough ready. So any questions about the marinade, how long, as I said, half an hour is, is max. And by the time we've got the dough and stuff ready, um, this would be perfect for us. Right, like crispy, crispy, nice, and simple. Can I share a Thank you very much. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. So yeah. So, any any questions? So, for the public, come on, let's get a question. Where are you from? 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 What island do you have in the house? Well, I'm training. Ah, so are you right there? Mm -hmm. Um, are you missing Hannibal? Who well, is that? Question is that? <laughs> I, I, who's not missing Hannibal? Right now, everybody, you, you would have been, you're feeling so tired because you've been pumping, you know, yeah. you've been fed after fed after fed. 
But it's still at the end of the day. Because the real the real show is coming now. But you know what? Last year I actually flew in Trinidad on Sunday and I left on Tuesday. So I literally got there, I went to Grand Ara Fed and then Tuesday and then on Monday. I've been to Carnival Tuesday and I was on a plane back to the UK. It was hard to leave. But uh, okay, at least I got there. there. Yeah, at yeah. least I got there. So I don't feel too bad now not having um no, no, that is not this year. But we live in hope for you in Hannibal. Anyway. So we're gonna be moving on to the dough, you know? So this to our base. Um flour is power. Yeah? We need as I say we were growing up you, you, you want that bake, you want that homemade bread, you want all of these things that you know your granny would be making right there that you know that classic the fancy in Lucia that you know the, the bread from the the dirt ovens and stuff so my flour's been measured out I hope you guys have what your ingredients, ingredients on your list so we have the flour being added who's cooking along by the way anyone cooking along somebody must be cooking somebody right? must be who in Trinidad somebody in Trinidad cooking this cooking? who is that there's a question here yeah go for it Apart from shark, yes. what other fish can you use as a substitute? Good question. All right, yeah. so any white feeling fish can be used. Um, in the UK, coli, pollock, um, stuff like that. You can also use, like in the States, whiten. Um, some people even, like you, there's a situation you, I've seen in the news in Trinidad where some of the shark vendors, they can shark vendors have been accused of using catfish. Right. You understand? But um, in the UK, uh, and if you can't find a, a bit of cut. But you know, you know, you know yeah. when we had lime in uh, at the old side, yeah, we, we actually use sea bass. Use bass. Yeah, yeah, because you know, they can see bass, it works really nice, it's, it's readily available. And like, I always think when you cook it at home, use whatever actually mm. you can find your hand on. Yes, salmon is a bit of a stronger flavor, and you can use something, especially with this. As simple and easy to, to answer. Don't go through too much trouble. You know, when you're going to go all the way to the big market, and you're going to be exactly yeah. at four in the morning. So make life simple, uncomplicated, and delicious. I think one of the, with this dish, um, what really brings it, yes, the shark is, is a quintessential ingredient. Yes. But you see the condiments? Oh, you man. start to add that tamarind sauce and that garlic sauce and some of that. Oh, roast pepper. <laughs> Then it takes it into that real whole, level. Yeah, whole yeah. level. So we have the flour here, we have self region. In next into that, I'm gonna add my baking powder. So you said we didn't make powder, yeah? Yes, yeah, so okay, this is key. So, yeah, so because I can't make bacon. Yeah? Alright. All right. So what what you have to watch with flour, flour works differently in, in, in different environments. So you see with the, when we are in the cold environment, we need an extra lift, lift you know? Okay. Back home with the heat, with your normal baking powder on, and plain flour, you can leave that dough on the counter and you're gonna see it rise, rise without any cross to it. Okay. You know? okay. So I'm actually, so this, I'm adding the yeast mm -hmm. also. Yes, double agent. That's, yes. that's so, a triple agent in there. And then, and then with the kneading, you're going to be adding another wow. by adding air here. So that is how you get wow, those is... light okay. floating like clouds. I like things, that. You know? So I like to add a little bit of sugar. But that is not needed. You know, a lot of people are trying to eat diabetes. Yeah, it's not, it, but it, again, it's uh, at my house, your house. Yes, okay. you know? so you make, make it your own kind of Yeah, so it's, okay. it's something that actually with the Sugar, it gives that the sweetness. You know, sometimes you get a bacon and you're like, hmm. You want more? You want more? You want to eat it alone. You don't have so that extra stuff. So, so sometimes it's not that little mm. in the sugar. So then, and, and a little salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just season that up. Then I have, um, as I said, with some people, you, you can actually not use um, the butter, but for me, it gives it that melt in your mouth finish. It, you know, it's. We, we're going through a lot of stress right now, mentally. So it's, right. uh, yeah. we can have a little bit of happiness by adding some butter to your plate. I say go. I, I agree, I agree. So you're going to add in. So this is butter, you put in margarine instead? Margarine, you okay. know, and the healthy fat. So some people you can actually even use um, oil. Okay, yeah. Like olive oil. So, so if you're vegan, yeah. I guess you, know, you can substitute that with something as a ash. Obviously, yeah. not fish, but something else. So I get that. So we have. Our fat, 
the door, and it's about rubbing, Break, rubbing, yeah, it. rubbing it like until it breaks in and comes like breadcrumbs into the into the flour. You mix in obviously you mix in all of the ingredients and get that worked in. Ladies, sorry, we got to get this thing that's daily sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but they, well, they don't need it. They don't need technicians these days. So they need they need it. No, but right. some some people like um I myself like I like with dough and starting with dough, you know that uh, you get that kind of crummy feeling. So I actually after the rubbing after rubbing it in, you can basically mm -hmm. take no sorry no spoon mm -hmm. yeah okay so it's rubbing you make. You're making a well, a hole in the middle, and you get your water. Your water needs to be lukewarm. It's key to help boost the raisin agent yeah, yeah. so that it can get activated properly. Yeah. Enough. So you want to start with a nice lukewarm water, and you're starting that in the middle. And I'm sure you guys see people that if you don't want to start with your hand, because you know when it's the flower starts to stick, it gets that kind of uh, you know. So you can just start bringing we that together. Yeah. Like you see people mixing cement, so they go on the wood side. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you know, just bring it at the together with the liquid. Mm. And remember, guys, we're going to be moving across to our YouTube channel very soon. Eh? So those who are on Instagram, we'll give you a point that we're moving across. So load it up, but we're coming across here shortly. In about four minutes or so. Yeah. Just need so with with the dough, obviously it's a it's something that you, well you have to be tactile if you have to touch it. You have your hands in. Yeah, get your hands in, no? So we're here. That's all soaking in that Oh my god, it's so good. I only smell it on the side, yeah. I'm like, I can't see here. I know I shouldn't be on the screen, but I can't help it. But because we are cool, it's fine. But thank you for having us at, you know, Lyman, you know. So actually Lyman, so right now we are on the South Bank, we are at Lyman Beach Park, which you can see here, and we are in Trinidad restaurant. Um, so we will have this dish, um, we, may, we, may, we may actually include Hassan's name somewhere along the um, yeah. credit for it. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal dish. And the only thing I know about Lyman is it's very Trinidadian, it's the only Trinidad restaurant in in London, but in this kind of setting, fully Trinidad. We are, yes, we're very proud. So if you haven't been yet, come check us out. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram, come line with us. That's C O M E, line with us. So, okay, here. Yeah. You see, we bought a little bit of this. So, we're gonna, what you're doing now is adding that next set of air again, you know? So, it's needed. So, stretching it out. Oh. Pulling it back, you know, stretching it out. So you see, in that gap there, yes, I'm pulling yeah, in yeah. more air again. I'm pulling in more air again. Yeah. And you keep singing that. So you're using your wrist, basically. You know that yeah. part of your hand or, the, or your palm, and you're getting that in there, stretching it out, pulling it back. Stretching it out, pulling it back. You know? How long do you this for? This, actually, no, you see, you're developing the gluten. Okay. So that helps with the, the raising agent. So you wanna you wanna ensure that with, with those for frying and stuff, you can get that really nice and needed. You need to get, get in there. It looks really good though. You know, you can see already, but you yeah. can see that give look yeah. at that give already. And that's because of the the extra um, yeah, raising. Yeah, yeah, so you see when you have this problem. You see the dough is sticking up on your hand, just get a little power, put it on your hands, rub it. Nice stuff, you know. Makes it a little easier for you. That whatever being there. Yeah? <laughs> it's a guy for it. I get <laughs> So yeah. So what what feelings do you like in your base? Tell me, you know? What, what what's the what's your favorite thing? I know a lot of people that like a bit of swordfish. Oh mm -hmm. well, who doesn't like mm -hmm. swordfish? I mean swordfish uh, Man, it's not the best thing. I I, I like um, the tap tap food in it. That's what I say. No, so I'm fishing tap tap food. That's only very good. That's only very good. You have it in your friend. That's what I'm saying. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, um, 
you have this uh, in Oil Drum and Tyler Vessel, yes, it's a fantastic um, uh, presentation last one, yeah. Um, with Oil Drum, um, so thank you to the chef. And once again, Tyler Vessel, yes, amazing to do this for Foodie February thing. Thoroughly enjoying it. Though. So you see our dough there, no? Can I touch it? Yeah, we're going to put that back in the pan. Yeah. But you see, look at that. You see? It's already has a nice, you see? Give me this. That lift already. So we're going to do that, get that in there. Let me get a little flour on top. Mm -hmm. and then we're just going to cover this. And set. What you want to do, what, um, you need a cool, warm part of your house. You know? so, cool, uh, warm. Right. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> okay. So you need something with some warmth, you know? And I'll lay it there. Nah. Okay, fine. Let's check it. Close to the kitchen, by, you know, somewhere okay. close on top of the fridge, you know, where it has a little heat. Just to help with your raising. Sure. You understand? So we're going to cover that, tidy up for a bit. And so can you put your oven on for just, just so the heat to get warm and take it off? First I put it on top. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. So that gives you an idea of what you kind of want to do. Some people might have a proven cover in there, you know, they have one of those, I don't know. Yeah, right? Some people might. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, clean this and let's go wash my hands. And with, as you can see, we have two elements already done and ready to go. We have already seasoned the shark. Yeah. That dough. We had a shark too, yeah. I think we're moving too fast. So you guys tell us if we need to slow down or not. Um, so we had a dough, mm -hmm. shark is seasoned. Mm -hmm. um, we did do it at half an hour or so, or an hour later? Yeah, but uh, I did one of those. Um, the neighbor on TV. Yeah, oh, really this is something I did before. <laughs> so I have a dough that's been rested. Yeah. And I'm going to bring that out and we're going to show you how to roll them into the board. You know, before we get them ready for frying. So I'm just gonna get that dough. Any out. questions, guys? Just in and ask you. Bring up your island, bring up your people. Um, we can talk about rum if you want. Yeah? I'm quite happy to talk about that all day, all night. Um, and of course, we have our sponsors, um, which is um, so we have here the Modern Law products, and that's a little bit from my training shop, which is online, and they are the one of the, the, the best places to get everything you grew up in the kitchen in the garden. And if you're Caribbean and you're used to Caribbean and stuff and some cheesies and all that kind of thing, that's where you get it. I highly recommend that. And I can't wait to try those drinks again, man. It's like so good. Sorry, it's like quintessentially Caribbean at Christmas. I know we have Christmas in the glass all the time. All the time. What more can you ask for? And what, 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 I did, what we did with that, sorry, I think this. They've added a bit of, so there's a boozy syrup, there's a boozy ginger syrup, so it's a, it depends on your flavor. Yes, exactly, exactly. So is it like a concentrate or is it actually like a support drink? It's a support drink, but you know, one what, what of the, one of the things when, when you test it, I'm sorry. Yeah. So make sure that I can see, see straight through it, you know? All right. So okay. it has some proper, yes, you know? Yeah. It's 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 how, it's you can add ice, you can mix it. I actually like mine with a, a bit of sparkling water. Yes, I would say. Nice squeeze, I like it. That's a cup of water or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. Yes. Oh, what does it have a cup of So, this here is for the more healthy approach. So, obviously, everyone knows we have um, CMOS, which is a product. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we use it. It's, it's good for your back. That's all I remember I'm saying. It's good. Strong man food. Yes. Strong, you know, it's strong man thing. But this year now it has a bit of um, turmeric and ginger, you know. So he never put the. Yeah, so the tea, not but the sea was pretty good. Not the sea was pretty good. Okay, but but what's the thing from the sea is you know pescatarian. So just question. No, I don't even know. They put don't put not quite sure. It's what so with this now you can actually add it to your smoothie. You drink it on its own. Yeah. Natural product, no added sugar. Right, right. So it's actually down the Wonderful. healthy route. Yeah. 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 Your health is your wealth, and your food should be your medicine. Now. You understand? See, so, classic line, I like it. Yeah. So here we have, look, after resting. So that is, that is the hot triple inside. The raising agents, yeah. you understand? So we're going to leave leave them still for a while. Oh, but actually, I noticed you put no oil on it. Uh, no, so the flour, you see, in the end, yes. with, with this, it's adding the flour on top. Yeah. And then, Making sure it's covered so you don't, when, when the air hits it, the dry air, it tends to give a crust on it. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, normally I would 
And a double double cup up. Yeah. Or just fill up a piece of clean first and then you know okay. I have that ready. So perfect. Yes. So what we're gonna do is get one of these condiments that we need. Um we've been very lucky and um, blessed because they looked after some of the main condiments that we need for our this dish. You know, this dish. So we have the tamarind sauce. So um, tamarind sauce is basically it's just fruit, right? Uh, yeah, tamarind, tamarind on the on the pot, you take all the seeds, you, you you're gonna boil that with some grated garlic, ginger, sugar, pasta, salt, sauce, sugar, and you get the roasted um roasted cumin, yeah, jira in there, and then you make up Ah uh, yes. Sir. So you're gonna get our garlic sauce ready, and that's very simple. So you just add in. We're gonna be doing this here some garlic, about seven cloves of garlic. Okay. So this sauce here is one of the like you just. I think in, in, in Trinidad, you put it on everything, <laughs> you know, you put it. It's, it's that kind of brings together a dish really nice. So we have fresh garlic. We have our coriander leaves, uh, shadow mini. Everything is going to be blended up. So. You can put that in your bullet machine at home, get that all sorted out. Then we have the mayonnaise. I like to use a, a light one, so again, trying to be as healthy as can be. You're gonna get some salt. And then something to Water, just to thin it up. Some lime juice No, but this is the one that you want to say when you, you go and you know, after you get that nice bake and you put that shark and then you walk by that table and it's garlic so it's tamarind, it's roast pepper, it's, you know, this is what we're talking. This is the, the you know, this we, we, we are getting the end that, creating that final product that you, you, you get when you go to Maratha. So I think I need um, a drink. A short drink. Yeah, yeah. Before I start, of course. Yes. Yeah. So, here we go. Thank you. Um, just for myself. I need to remember. Cheers. Thank you, by the way. Pleasure. Yeah, no. Um, it's very good, Robin. Um, cheers, guys. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's all fine. You're gonna drink meat. I didn't know that. Yeah. Can imagine with a with a few um mixers and a tonic and that is incredible. But okay. actually, if you have a bit ice, the whole idea for this one is we invite you to try it meat on ice and in tonic. So, are we moving across the YouTube? Is that all that time? I think it's that time. Who's so, coming with us? Are you coming? Are you going? Who is it? Right? Let's move across the YouTube, guys. It's been wonderful. Instagram, thank you so much for following us. We're going to move across now, join us across here, and we have come ask you a question. I remember you can watch us again in case the I know I talk fast, I get excited. <laughs> so if we are going too fast, just um we can always go back or we will try and slow down and take it easy. Now we've had a drink, we're going to relax, but the major work is done. 
Now it's time for the cooking and eating. Yes, so how long the dough has been resting now? The 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. All right. One of the next things I'm going to get ready is my seasoned flour. What? You get rid of scissors? That's the seasoned rum course. That. If you didn't have a rum, I'd chew it as much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So, yeah, keeping it very simple again. And I said with, with, with this, if you're in your home and when you like frying the fish, you want to add a little bit of um, or yeah. peppers or, you know, your. Flavors. I am actually, as I said, keeping it very simple, you know. But also with this too, because so many sauces come in, you don't need to add anything extra. Correct. And this is what some people, you know, like, as I said, there's a problem with, with over, seasoning. over seasoning, you know, because yeah. you season the flour with all purpose, this, that. You season the fish, that, that. Yeah, then you put some in the sauce. So yeah, yeah. By so the time. You don't, you don't get it if you lose the fish taste, you lose it. You want to be able to get it in the individual of the dish. I think in any cooking, right? You want to taste that meat or fish or even vegetable. It's so, balanced, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a balance, it's, it's key. So, then let's keep it very simple with the uh, seasoning for the fish. So, we have this flour, the salt. And this is auto sauce or stir so fries? Um, auto, this is normal. You okay. see, with, with, with fried, if you have the plain flour, it's better. Yeah. Because okay. then it doesn't give you that extra oil. Yeah, yeah. So we have that as a season. My pot is on now. Get yeah. ready. Oil is heating up nicely. And so rapeseed, vegetable, corn oil, what kind of oil? Um, oil? With, with, with frying, once you're doing deep frying, you need an oil that can take the heat. So you're looking at something like rapeseed or yeah. you know vegetable oil. Like, um, with uh, shallow frying or stuff like that, you, you can use your olive oil and stuff. But I recommend. If you want, you can go half and half with the olive oil. So then it can take a little more sure. of the air. But does that sort of enhance the flavor using olive oil, or are you happy, happy? You know, that's a whole other kind of flavor you're bringing in there. So it'd be easier to just keep it simple. Simple, like, that's what you cover. Traditionally, this is how it's done. It's done with the um, just the plain uh, frying. Right. So I'm going to start with my dough. Mm. Because even with your, because with, with the dough, it's about giving it that double rest, you understand? So we're going to be breaking it into, are we seeing here? Uh, which is the better? Yeah. So we have the dough, yeah. and then it's breaking it into the size. So I like a pinch like that. I, I, I grab it. Yeah, cool. So that, it's probably like 100 grams something. Yeah, like yeah. So again, if you have your scales at home, you, you know you can break them off. 80 to, you know, 50 to 80 grams. And I guess you may also, if you want to keep it really consistent, you may decide, okay, fine, you know what, I want to be really, really like, I want to measure all of it. Though. Yes. Um, so you put it on a scale. Practice. Yes, yes, yes. So one of the next things with, with, with the dough is rolling it into that circle. Okay, right? one. So everybody has their own way. methods. So we you, gonna, you do your way, and right. I do my way. So mine is, is, is taking it back and pushing it into the middle, and just moving it around in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, taking it in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, till around we have that. So ah, I would do it like this. See, nice yeah. touch. And again, as you can see, with each way, so you add it. But each way, you add it. Add it here again, you know. So we add it, and we're gonna put that down. Just run off some stuff, you know. Another one. Yeah. That's so again, if you're watching, different methods, but same. The both are right. Yeah? Yes. We're just looking at getting that circular. In Jamaica, this would be a dumpling. Oh, they get their fried dumpling ready, and they fry. Like here, yeah? Straight in. Straight in. You can clean them and rest a little bit, but then, you know. Um, with, with this dough, again, you know, as like I said, you can, you can have the classic circular bakes. You can actually, what we're going to do here today, maybe, as we have a little space. What's the day today? It's Saturday. The, the 14th. The, the last day. Oh, the Valentine's Day. The Valentine's Day. So I think we need to get some. Extra, you know, to the lovers out there. Oh, there. Happy so, Valentine's by the way. Yeah, happy love day, people. I hope. You give me that color. Oh, free that. Hey, nah, I'm cheating. <laughs>
I like it. We are doing something. I like it. Yeah. We don't do nothing normal. Yeah, you understand? No, no. We do nothing normal. Everybody can do that basic. You understand? So what we're gonna do? We are, we're gonna add a little. But actually, is, is anyone actually making this for your partner for Valentine's Day? Is this the way you're treating your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your partner or your parent? So tell us, sir. share with us. Sir. So we have some um some party fancy bakes going on here. I kind of almost really want to. Yeah. How are you coming? Okay. In the meantime, I should sit on this. Yeah. So with this here again, is about allowing it to rest. You know, we get I trying something here, yeah, but we so we go. Yeah, okay. yeah, show, show. We have the big so and again, watching again, breaking it off to the uh, the weight you want. So as I said it's about if you if you have a kitchen scale, eighty to hundred, because you want to have enough foundation for when you're building it up with the rest of the ingredients, you know, but to make sure that you can't just you put the salad in here, right? So yeah. you're going to get salad, you're going to get the finish, 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 Correct. If it's too thin, it'll just collapse. Correct, correct. Yeah. So we have... We're going to just get those dress rolled out. We have a few for you. Yeah, we have a couple more yet. And again, so you see, so in, in, Yep. So the fire is getting ready. We are getting near people. We are getting close. It's about that time to start to cook and bubble up. So I hope whoever is cooking along, we ain't going too fast. If you, as, as you say, if you have any query questions, just give us a little um, question in the chat. Um, let us know where you're cooking, where we you know which islands, who's in London, who's, who's in the Caribbean, who's in Trinidad. Who actually called the Maracas today to actually eat this indeed? That's a question. Mm. So, so what next? So now it's about, we have all of the elements ready. We, I think we have our sauces. We are Sorry, man, we're also going to put it up. We see this beautiful stuff we just made here. We have the garlic, yeah. We have the tamarind. We have the rose. Um, pepper sauce? We have uh, a few pepper sauce. We have Fermentos. rose pimentos. This is a seasoning one. Um, so, this now, I'm thinking about even combining with the mayo. I have like a rose pimento mayo to add to it. So that could be something, you yeah. So, we're just going to get ready. So, I thought, I just, what is this one here? Coconut chutney. So this one. Yeah. So, okay. You understand? That is an extra topping. You know? so this one says my, so I'm guessing it comes in a spicy one too. Um, it's dry coconut, right? And it's sort of um. Yeah, make it uh, like you, you get some of these double vendors that use that on top of their, you know, as a condiment. But again, with with the bacon shop, it's it's where you want to go. It's, you know, in terms of um, your condiments and stuff like that, so... Oh my god, that's really good. I had that one Ooh. before, I like that. I like it, too. So, yeah. Get that shot out for me. Even if it's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to get your oil on the heat, on. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a, you, uh, most people don't have an uh, electric car or gas car, but mm -hmm. um, is there a temperature you need to add? Or so you might one, have of the, one of the little tricks. How do you I know use. if it's hot, the oil is hot enough? So, all right. So you see so the same dough that you have. Just take another little piece of that dough. Yeah. And then once your oil is heated up, you're dropping it into the pan, yeah? You have a dry hand. Then you go yeah, exactly. the oil over the So you can see what's now. Oh, yes. So yeah. If I just drop it, now you can see it comes up. it's coming up. That's what, that's what I want to be you happening when I drop it. Yes, yes. So you can see that uh, our dough is ready, coming up nicely. Gonna just slow down the temperature. Up. 
on that. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you, Chad. So, yes, we're going good. We have my Trini people. We have the Grenadian people out there. We have a Jamaican bridge in them, you know, respect every time. We also the big island them, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so you know it's a, it's really uh, you know I, I I love enjoying um showing people you know these little tricks about our cuisine because it's important to pass on so you can do it in your home, you can you know let's kind of bring that same joy of everyone who's been to Maracas and enjoy that shark and because Kind of bringing that into your home. Yeah, well, no, that's that thing I, 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 I didn't know no, how to so I was saying, if they can shark, and then yes, somebody, so somebody come back and was saying to me, is the shark and big. So you guys tell me what it is. What yes, exactly. Thing? You tell us. Tell us. Tell us. We have a. We're Trinidadians, so for us, it's big and shark. Yeah. So sometimes in treaty, because we say it so fast, it sounds like bacon. Shark, you know what? <laughs> I'm on. Okay, two times you. No, one time somebody came in like, what did you say? Bacon. Shark. That must be a uh, non chili. A non chili person. But we ain't gonna open the whole topic now about, you know, chicken mm. and curry, chicken and chili. Yeah, we ain't opening that one. <laughs> Let me say clear that curry. I'm gonna stay away from that. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. That's another one. So, oil is, as you see, the oil is ready. Yeah. I'm gonna. Get some of these doughs rolled up because we're going to be moving a little faster now. We're going into the frying stage. So I like, you know, I'm going to fry the thing. I'm going to get the fish, you know, ready. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. So with the, you're going to dust the surface. I don't know if you guys are seeing on this side here. Yeah. The brand is right here. So it's <laughs> right there. You want to get that nice. Now you know why it's too thin? Because, as we said before, it will actually become too light. Like, so light. You, need, you, you need, need, need some body in it. You, can, like, you know, you want so that I can hold. How many inches? What, in terms of the weight? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so uh, five, six inches? Yeah. Yeah, so we don't want this long. So with the dough, it's about to get us, you know, some people have that problem. So you wouldn't fry the fish first and then fry no, it? So this now, as I'm rolling it out, it's yeah. the rest of it. Ah, yes. So okay, you know, with, right. with flour, it's important to give it time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? that makes sense. That makes if, we, if, we, if we rush it, you end up, you get something like that, you know? Right. So, it's, it's, so this That's now, the eyes for wrong. You see, uh, actually, that kind of thing is, uh, I told you, I'm honest. Um, so because I don't get into the evenness, yeah. Here, um, I get one side really light and one side very heavy. All right, that's because when ever rest is it. Yes, yeah. So like now, this is by the time we finish frying yeah. the fish, these are nice, nice and ready. I'm gonna yeah. we're gonna fire straight into that. Okay. So we have and uh, we have a question apparently um from someone saying how if we don't have if they don't if they're vegan and um, they want to have a vegetarian option, yeah. What can we give them? Well, what there is um. I um in there's a uh, banana blossom. Ooh. Yes, you know that yeah, bottom yeah, part. Yes, they can. Yeah, they sell it in the can. Yeah. yeah, and it actually when you when you season that and you fry, it looks just like. You see, I was told, yeah, you can, I was told to use tofu, but um, yeah, this uh, is so much more Caribbean. Yeah, um, I, I'm actually trying it myself. It definitely works. Yeah. Right, I use it. Um, the first time I was like, and I served it. It's like, no, I don't eat fish. I was like, I don't know fish. Wow. Right? So but this is actually coming out. It comes in a can, and it's like it's into pieces. Yeah. So you basically season that. So you get it. Oh, this, I, I have, I have, this, this is like, like really playing my head now. Yeah. Because it's normally like, I'm like, like, it's sucky something. Like, yeah. But it, it's, it works, or you can alternatively, um, you can actually use tofu or. I wouldn't go jackfruit, jackfruit more burgers, but you can use mushroom, like oyster mushrooms. Oh, that's yeah. a good call actually. Yeah. I like so that. By the time yeah. you know when you when you have that flattened, season yeah. now, it looks 
Yeah, it, it looks like the fish, you know. So if I give it a message, um, you can use... Uh, Banana blossom, you can use... Tofu, tofu. you can use oyster mushroom. Yes. Yes, so there we go. Um, so, apart from this, I mean, I'll be sure I have many, many, many food and flavor and everything. Um, if we, if somebody has a gluten intolerant, what can I use? All right, uh, the, the flowers that, um, like, spelt. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. yes, yes, yes. Oat, yes. you know. Planting flower. Too so heavy. some of them are too heavy, so with, with using um, some of these flowers, it's gained that balance because you, you find some like like millet flour. Yeah. I, I, I was using that last week and my bake was like, it was too heavy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I know next time if I'm using the millet, I have to maybe have something a bit like a spell to, to bring it, you know, okay. and make it work, you know. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who are intolerant to different stuff, but we where they know where they away, you know. That's and right. Find, you know. And so obviously we've talked about obviously with the bake and the shark and the sauces, but what about the salad? What what do we put into it? Because I remember obviously pineapple, cabbage, cucumber, yeah. tomato. So, yeah, it's um you you wanna get different, you know, so with inside of the filling up you have the sauces then you have nice tomato you know they get that sweetness yes the crunch of the um of the yeah, yeah. some you know then you have like a lettuce? slow you have a, a lettuce like iceberg nice iceberg or you use a, a nice fresh slaw because you don't make a cold slaw because by the time you're, you're going to be adding that um and you're garlic sauce you're yeah, exactly. you understand yeah, so by the time you add that garlic sauce there, it does become sure. like a a slow, a whole slow. Yeah, of course. But then like all of these elements, a nice slice of pineapple. Can you put a chop in it? You can. You know, right. because you, you, you gotta watch like some people, they would mm. add added that element of the pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the time you add the sauces yeah. with the salt and you know all of that, it then, that chow, it then becomes a chow. It then becomes a chow in the in it, you know? I can have really well actually. I quite like that idea. Yeah, you can make a, add a, a mango or, or you, you take that same base there and you make it into a chutney mm. you know with your mango and pineapples that you have that added on my mind is working over time now um, <laughs> how we can actually change this up but i put a little twist on it but this this is it you know we as i said you at home you might want to add you know whatever yeah vibes it up vibes it up exactly and i guess it's here again if you remember we have to use our spots in our house Use what you can afford, make it your own. Like anything you do, make it your own. Otherwise, you know, we can try for a recipe your tea, but you know, if you don't like something, substitute it. If you have a gluten intolerance, use another flour. Right. If you don't like spicy chili, use the pimento. This roast one though. So this is um, again the same Madeleine range. Um, I have seen it. I've been salivating about it um, because everything goes to me. The flavor is enhanced. Um, so I'm going to open this and try this here and see what you guys think. I remember that you get this from my tree shop, um, and that is, I think, the UK's first Trinidad website and dedicated, yeah, dedicated to Trinidad products. Now, how far have we come? A few years ago, we couldn't get nothing. A few months ago, we couldn't get nothing online. Now we gain um, food, we gain snacks, we're getting sauces. So thank you um, to Sharon, we have the team at, at my food shop. I want to taste this. I'm salivating at this speaker. We have a winner here. We have a winner here. Um, I'm happy with this. Um, or, but actually, it's a bit spicy actually. The pimento. Yeah. Um, I like it. I, I use this. I don't use a knife at home, okay? But we're experienced. <laughs> It's a bit of a good stuff. That's some bad. Yeah. That's some zest. Nice zest. Um, That's some zest. I do like it. Though. That's it. Even think about that. One. That's a nice uh, mayo. Like a. Yeah, you can yeah. definitely play with it. So. Yes. Make a aioli. Yes. Mayo. Oh, yes. So we're going to fire up. Okay, got so the flour here. What's the name? Again, we have that seasoned flour ready for the. Okay, for yeah. 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 Salt, pepper, tea. Any pictures of what you've been doing so far, please, DM us. Uh, um, oh, I should be on YouTube now, right? Um, uh, everybody's happy. Uh, everybody, any questions, come to us again. Um, if you're still on Instagram, you shouldn't be there anyway. Just move across. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, yeah. Okay, as in Chow. Yeah, man. So this again now moving into this process. So you don't want to put too much. You want to get enough in. And then so, so the technique is deep fry. You know, mm -hmm. of course, the whole idea is to make sure the whole move around the whole thing to get even distribution, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I fry the whole calamari last, and I made the classic mistake. I put too much in the pot, too much. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It cook, of course, but it, was, it, it wasn't as perfect as the first one. Didn't have that crunch. Yes. Sir. And this is one, one, one thing we want to ensure that we get with this is that nice crunchy. Yes. Yeah. Right. You know? so, so remember, little not, and often, don't rush it. The fish is expensive. The product will be amazing at the end. So just take your time. But what what happens? Because basically, when you remember, the fish is cold. So when it goes into the oil. Oh. Drops the temperature. Sure. Yeah. So you, what you need to realize is that for frying, it needs to be up at you know it can't be too low. So you raise the temperature almost. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Then I by, get by, it. by adding the fish now, we're going to be going in. So yeah. You smell it straight away. Straight away. You're feeling like you know, I want it with shark. Shark has a
anniversary is to actually have it here. People can always go and have a look at it and actually see if it is um, if it, where, it, where it going correct, where it possibly went wrong. Um, so yeah, that's really good. And if there are any further questions, you can always um, contact me directly on Instagram, drop a question, you know, and I would be happy to. It's really, it's really calling my name, but I'll wait. I will wait. <laughs> oh my God. So you see, again now, let's get it in that next batch, yeah? Mm. Okay, ready again. So. Once when it when it's going into the oil, make sure that you drop away from it. So if it splashes, it splashes that way. You know, don't drop it so it splashes to you. Yeah? So you drop it that way. So there's no chance or risk of you injuring yourself in the I guess if you're really cautious, you can actually use tongs, right? Sorry. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this set for later. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have our shark on the go there. In case so you watch it, you know, if, if you see that it's browning too fast, uh, lower the heat. Lower the heat, you know, I just keep an eye on that stuff like that. So obviously today we're in Trinidad and we're doing bacon shark. So on Tuesday, it's kind of on Tuesday. We are doing the ultimate street food of Trinidad. Yes. We're doing doubles. And you know what, double? No, we're doing like we're double. Right, we're we're double. just doing doubles. Double. We're just doing that. Right. Yeah. We have a campaign for doubles, international doubles. Here. We believe doubles should be eaten by everyone. It's like, first of that, look, we grew up eating it. Right? Yeah, first, there's no right time to eat doubles. You eat doubles in the morning, you eat it after our fest. You can love it time. Time. Yeah, you understand? And I guess the beauty about lockdown is a lot of people have friends that have been put in their hands and they're doing it to make doubles. So for us, um, I am um, championing doubles as a dish. And uh, Larry, we have the incredible doubles at Saga Board, which is our UK food delivery. We actually have amazing doubles. So, so actually, on Tuesday, Carnival Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK time, we will be making right here doubles. Join me actually. I think right here. Let's see what? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, we make that list in Trinidad way. Um, so we have all the sauces the tamarind, the pepper sauce, the kuchula, the bara, and the china. So please join me. Can you try something? Uh oh, that's what I'm saying. That is really good. That is bad here. I like it. Let me get it. All right, you see what's going on here. Fish ready, so our dough is rested, you're looking nice. I didn't eat any yet, but all <laughs> still there. Do you believe that? <laughs> I, 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 I can make it so I run if you want it. <laughs> I didn't eat any yet. You might find a tree right around. That is good. Good rope this way. You see, so when you're going through, you might have some smaller pieces. Obviously, they would fry first, so you know? Yeah, you pull them out. You get there. You can see that. No, it's nice. Oh, I have to find it. If you insist, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. With that nice garlic sauce, oh, yeah. I think, you know. Go for it, why not? Yeah. And I just want sauce. I go, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we want to soak it. How does spring in water? So, yeah, mm -hmm. see? Ensure when you're taking out the fish that you. Drain the excess oil. Yeah. That's ready. I'm just going to put that to the side for now. So next time, just to get uh, these bad boys. What time are we using for this? Do we have it already? So yeah, well okay. done. Um, so just want to make sure everybody can take your time and hold me. You know you finish a frying, you know your your, your bacon is already rolled out. It's sort of reactivating itself. Um, don't forget the salad. So we are using. 
So they are some of the child. Oh, boom! Here we go. So we have normal lettuce that we're gonna have with uh, to get the condiments ready. So this is a little oh, slow. Yes. And what I've done, what I've added to it is some beetroot. Yes. You know, just to add some color. more color. Because everybody, everybody Instagram these days, yeah. right? Like Instagram is colors. So if you want to be a bacon shark, you want to do that. Ooh, hello. And then we have, you know, our tamarind sauce. The American mustard nut. No, French mustard. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
before the chakra, the thing out of the eight, I had to do this just to pick me, you know? But also, you know, this bottle of range is very good. So we're having um, the peppermint rose, and we're having a rose coconut. Good. Good for you. I know what to do. Wow. Simple. I just need to cheat. Mm. Simple. But very effective. Mm. You know, one of my friends, you know, feed a family for five pounds. Mm -hmm. um, hello, cheese and bacon. You feed the family mm. for days on this one. Yeah, this is really good. So we're then going to continue with the frying. You see it. Make it based in here. Base, base, base. What you can do? Would that be the same thing? Then you you won't get the rice. Ah. No, okay. Okay. So you have to get you have to get it to come straight up first. Mm -hmm. Then you could. Before it pops. Mm. You see by as we've added added the extra raisin yeah. agent. We have no problem with it um actually, you know, worrying with with, with filling the rice, you know. Mm. And then with that kneading, we've added the extra air. People, it's very simple as you see here. We're gonna make these lovely floats, fry bake, you know, as you call them in Trinidad. And then we're gonna mm. Enjoy it. Get ready. Just leave it in the frying and bacon. Mm. Yes, so. <laughs> that's one of the things that people will say, like, what do you call it a fry bacon? Fry bacon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so like, what's the logic? What are you actually doing here? Fry the bacon. Um, fry bacon. I quite like how it looks a little bit, you know. Artistic, like you know, you know, it's just bread and it's really posh. Yeah. You know, artisan fried bacon. There you go, artisan. <laughs> it's not for you, but you know, it's an artisan fried bacon. Mm. So, you see, it's just about making sure that you keep basic. This, you can, if you don't want to have it fried. You can also have uh, roasted bakes, you know, or in the oven, in the oven or or the pot. on the pots or pot bakes, which, which which you have on top of this dough. So you know, it's it's you can take the same dough and cook it in different ways. I remember being in Saint Lucia, and they would take the dough and put it on the back of the grill, on the grill, and roast it like a roast Boy, bake. You raise like that? Yes. That's, that's so you keep it on the side, on the low. A bit of reddish kind of, no, but it's non bread kind of sort of character. It's almost like a roast bake, but on the grill. You wow. understand? Really, really, really nice. Just like this rum. Cheers, yes. rum. Brandon. Looking good. Looking it's a good one. Take a job. Is that good taste? Is that good look? Nice. So we, we, we're getting close. I think. Are we looking kind of good? Do I know them? Everyone's happy? Any questions? Okay. Remember, on Carnival Tuesday, doubles. Everyone needs doubles in our in your life for Trinidadians. I think that's going to be very popular because I, I, one of the I, one of the main street food of the Trinidad is in the doubles, doubles, you know. And everybody would like to know how to cook it. So well, it's, tune in. It, it, I, I highly recommend it. Um, uh, it's really simple. We'll be here. We'll be having fun. And uh, we'll be eating them also. If for some reason you're working and you still want to join us to be a campus party, you can go to lyman.co.uk. That's L I M I N. The co.uk. You can order some and we'll come to your house on Tuesday by six o'clock so you can actually eat along with us while we're making it here. So that sums up plan. So if you can be, if you're, if you're homeschooling and you have to go to children and you have to go to work or what, or you want to treat yourself. But what does that take you right back to it? I mean, I remember, you know the beauty? I remember um, uh, someone here, they, they live in so far away, and the kids haven't had that ever. I saw that post, it was like, they, they, they know it, but the parents were teaching their children how to eat doubles, proper on a paper, it's like in Hampshire somewhere. How to scoop it, but it's, it's that base, yeah. you know, that, it's that you, that want, you, want you want the kids to know, you want yeah. you know? And it's good that you, you, you guys are doing that with, with the products, it's awesome. So we're just doing some extra. The, the Valentine one, you know, this one. 
Love in your own sweet yeah. love, love, love is in the air. Nice. So yeah. I think we need to get ready to the play down. Okay, so let's get down. Space here. Space up. Keep that rum there nicely. So I got Oh, you got your see, so classy. I went with the he's got this. You're man. Made a thing go good, man. You know? That's what we're talking about. So, this is just some extras. So these are some dainty. Oh, that fish looks too good. You know, I, I have been in my life, I've been vegetarian. I've flipped with veganism, pescatarian. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the fish is just the freshness of it is what actually makes it very different. So, um, it's too good. I have the memories are cool. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You nearly did. Can I get some thumbs? Some what? Thumbs, yes. And the big Sorry. Interestingly, as I say, I saw this, sir. Uh, do you ever pick up one of these uh, and the first thing you do is. Yeah, I mean, you just naturally you do this, right? Uh, I just did it. Uh. So you're going to do, you know, yeah. When you, who do you go by for your bacon shop in Trinidad? Some people is Richard, Natalie, you know? I'm Richard. So. Alright, they're a nice classic, you know, so. Yes. But I, I, I mean, that it has a long excuse, so I think everybody just goes there. So yeah, so normally, you would go to the stand, they would give you this to start with, mm. yeah. Wow. Well, but the base is just it's edible, it's all. Oh, come on, man. Melt in your mouth, you know? You could put some... Nah, 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 nah. Nah. <laughs> ah, you know, you, you, have, to, you have to eat too well. No, no, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, and then the excitement starts. Where do I go? Where do I go? You know, you'll be like, what do you like on yours? You know, what flavor are you looking for? You understand? So, some people, you know, you, you start to build with your tomato, you know, a little cucumber. You go in with a little normal lettuce, you know. Okay, so we need some of this bad boy here. You get. Where are you going? Where are you going? Never that. As I say, it's excitement. You are I will live my own one. <laughs> Just so you know. That's, no, that's it. You go with, you know, because as I say, everybody will have their say on the sauce that like they want to add and bite up their dish with, you know? Um, a little mustard, you know, who want a little mustard, they go with that. Okay, let's. So I go in old school kind of way and I use my hand because, you know what? Um, I'm going to eat it. Okay, man. You get a little ketchup. Oh, look at that. You, know, you want the tamarind sauce. You, 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 you top up with a little. So, here we have a little crunchy slaw with yeah. um, some beetroot and stuff added to it. You know, let's bring that picture with the healthiness. That, that looks so much more attractive. You see, that's why you are a pressure chef. Then you, you know, like, for some people, it's pineapple or no pineapple. You know, you, you, you get a pineapple on there. This is not pizza, okay? Yeah. This is actually bacon, chef. You can add pineapple. You, 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 you ever see that sauce there? That's it, you know? That's the one you want. You get that. That's the one that is finished, though. Really nice, you know? Add some of that. Nice. Mm. You need to you put chow on it. Put some chow in the base here. Yeah, you know? So you know it's 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 just about adding just a little bit of citrus. Yeah. I think I did citrus. Make my nice and actually a little burst. So I'm so see we have a little kind of pickle pepper sauce so I'm just chopping some of that on top here too, you know? Slides it up nicely. It was quite hot for my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so you see it's 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 just very easy, you know? But, I say, you know, I was 
about the actual shoulder and this other tons that are there, you know, wipes it off nicely. So this 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 is a a full mm. toe. This is for one of my chef, Virginia, the chef Piki, out in New York, who is good at the food show. So we have it, we, you know, we give them a little sample out here. How is it so good? So, but here you are, very simple. Let it hit. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is how you want to eat it out. Oh, you yeah. understand? <laughs> but again, you know, look at what's cooking on there. By the time you look and you sit down and you find a nice, that nice coconut tree, you know, my mark, and yeah. they sit on there. And you're you ready to pull your bikes. Mm. So there we have it. The bacon shark. Bacon shark. Maracas. Welcome to Maracas. Boom. That's what we're talking about. Carnival Slayers. Mm. This is what you will be able to do. If you ain't do it with us, I know you're going to check up on the recipe. Oh, this is what you do here. Mm. Correct is right. Yeah, so we have it straight from Maracas, Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yes. proper. Very good. Okay, there we go. Bacon shark, lime in by the beach side in London. We are ah, she on the beach. We on the beach. Yeah? I can see sand. I don't believe in us. I don't think that we can see sand. We have sand over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we are on the beach. And it's it's so you know um, easy to bring that kind of Caribbean sunshine food into your homes. Follow us. Um, I look at you. We've seen what Grenada, you know, the Grenadian national dish. This is one of those dishes that you will have when you go to Trinidad. It's not um, official, but it's one of our unofficial national dishes. As I said, the best fish sandwich in the world. Maracas. Amen. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So. Next, in uh, the foodie February, I think we're going to the beautiful island of St. Lucia. No Trinidad! Where are going? Next, after you. Oh, after me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we have Trinidad doubles, yeah. and then St. So, so Lucia. Lucia in yes. the house. So, so uh, you know, we're trying to cover as much as possible um, in the short month of February that it is. So, Carlos, yes, thank you so much. Hassan. Absolutely incredible. My pleasure, my pleasure. San Susi Foods, my Trini Shops, Tanara Slayers, Three Ways Ram, Lime Made. We did. And, we don't, and this is what we're doing, pleasure. right? So I hope you guys enjoy. Tune in. Tell us what you like. Tell us what in, more information you need. Thank you. Again. What should we say now? How do we come back here? Yes. I need some more likes. <laughs> <laughs> Check me on Instagram. Check Thank in. You Log in. Uh, we'll have more videos coming up. We'll definitely be doing more of these stuff because I think there's a need for the people to, to learn and I like the vibe. So we can do this again. Done. Nice. Can we say the deal? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have. We have thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, and see you soon. Boom. Welcome.